Libra, you may be hearing a calling, a calling that it's time to make a step, time to make a change, and you can feel it, and you know something good is on the way. Libra, I am being guided to tell the sun, moon, and rising signs that you are getting ready to be guided into an elegant flow into prosperity. Let's take a look at the sign of Libra for the month of April. Now, this is a really, really big message, and I keep hearing over and over to walk forward with grace, elegance, and style. Because you, Libra, unlike anyone else in the zodiac sign, can carry that into actual prosperity. So it's like being your authentic self and moving forward because you are choosing to say, I am who I am and I know what direction I'm going to go and the universe is gonna come in and they're going to guide you forward. Now with this is this beautiful, it is a push, it's a nudge, but I see lots and lots of synchronicities around the sign of Libra. And this is, goes from birds, I see birds, I hear howling, I hear, which can be coyotes, it can be fox, it can be wolves. There's a lot of animal sounds in the background which are synchronistic messages. It would be wise of you to look up your animal totem if you haven't already. If you are surrounded by animals and you're hearing those sounds, take a look at the spiritual meaning of whatever that is. Now, Libra, you've been through a lot, okay? And the card for you is you actually got two, all right? These are the two cards that came out. Completing a cycle and moving into this beautiful new beginning. And that's what I mean. And when you look at this card, if we're looking at the tarot, and you guys know I'm not a tarot reader, I'm guided through these messages, but boy, do these cards really impact what I'm hearing. This is a person who is filled with elegance, style, and grace. And because of your authenticity, you are going to release whatever was holding you back as long as you've been working on it. This is not necessarily going to happen instantly for those of you who still have some anger issues, who still haven't gotten that closure that you need, but it is coming through. The possibility is going to happen in April. Remember, we're dealing with a really huge, massive energy shift, and it's coming from four different angles. We start off in the end of April, I mean, in the end of March with the full moon energy. If you didn't read that, please check that out on my blog, or you can look at the video that I just posted for all zodiac signs for the full moon. These are messages that are going to help you grow. That's what this channel is about, is ascending, not keeping you stuck in that pattern, but pulling you out of there. Now, the next one is on April 1st, we have Mercury going into retrograde. All right, and that's going to tug you backwards. So it's like release, go back, release, and then on April 8th, the new moon, starting new projects, <clears throat> starting new projects, starting new growth, starting to accelerate. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry for that. Starting to go into a direction that you actually want. All of a sudden, my throat got kind of clammed up. There is something some of you need to say, most likely to get the closure that you need that I was just talking about. You may need to share that with somebody around you or just put it into a comment right here and get it out. And I don't mean this long novel, okay? Just a few little sentences on letting go of what happened. And I want you to put in that comment, Libra, I now release blank, 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 from any and everything that has held me back. That's what I want you to put in there. You don't even have to put another word. Release that person, release that situation by putting it into a comment. Be kind, okay? And on April 8th, we also have the solar eclipse, which is gonna be so powerful. That is that boost from the universe saying, if you want to make this leap, jump in and go for it because it's like a split. Either we're going to go into the old cycle and go into a repetitive cycle, or we're going to release it and jump into a new cycle. So which end do you want to be on? You are at a completion point and it is completely up to you. And I feel those of you who have been working hard at making, striving, to achieve, to grow, to ascend, you're going to be even moved 
higher than you thought possible. So let's take a look at you guys in your career and in your projects, whatever you devote your energy and attention to that has nothing to do with family and friends, which will be next, romance, which will be there, and the final guided message at the end. Um, you've been healing deeply over somebody, something that you lost. Now, some of you, when it comes to a career, this could be the career itself, the job, feeling that pain, that regret, that remorse that you went through when you left this organization. No matter how you left this organization or let go of that career, there's a strong emotional attachment to what just ended. Now, for some of you, I see it may have been a couple of years ago that you left, but you've been going through this mourning cycle. And yes, we go through all the stages of grief for anything we are emotionally attached to. That would include your job or career. So if that was the dream job you thought or that was the one you were going to be with or you devoted 20 years to that organization you thought it was the one and it wasn't you have to go through the stages of grief and that's what's completing this cycle right now these four energy shifts are about completion and starting new and with it is going to come the toggling back and forth being reminded of people around you and i feel for some of you you are going to be reminded of this situation you may get a job offer that sounds identical to it. You may have a difficult time moving forward into a new position, no matter what time frame it was that you left this organization. Um, for some of you, I do see it was, uh, I see somebody sitting behind a desk. You're sitting behind a desk. It looks like it was accounting, actually. Accounting, bookkeeping, doing the back end of business that no one else necessarily sees, but that's what makes the business function and flow properly. So it was a very important job, but more importantly than the importance of the title of the description is it actually was something you wanted to do. And you have the Ten of Swords. It was a painful ending and it really struck a chord inside of you. It struck a nerve. And for some of you, it may have gone back to how you value your own self. Inner value, inner confidence was attached to that job. We came out of um, generations that believed your value and self-worth. It, it, they would say, if you meet people, they'd say, I am the job. Well, no, you're not. That job is what you do. You do that type of work. You're in that industry, and that's how you make your money. You are you. So I feel there's this toggling that has been going on through this very painful ending. However, there's a happy note coming in. If you haven't already gotten a job, you are going to get a job. A new career path is on the way. And I definitely see for some of you, it's going to be in the same industry. But for others, I see you're going into a different industry. They're showing me, again, accounting, the back end of business, business management, business techniques, not technology, but techniques. What that means, I don't know. Maybe that's data analysis. I don't know. Leave a message if that makes sense for you. They're showing me visions of somebody who is a leader, a management position. So some of you are going to get an opportunity, even though you have been dealing with something very, very difficult with that painful attachment to it, maybe that's being sabotaged by that organization or the people around it. Whatever you've been going for, you have the wish card right here. And this is what Spirit is telling me. You have this new amazing opportunity coming in. So remember, the whole message is letting go of the old that has kept you stuck in pain, emotional uh, detachment from other people, and even from your own self because of what you went through. But now it's being offered to have this new beginning. The question is, are you going to go for it? And I feel a lot of you are. Some of you won't. Some of you are going to go into the back cycle and you'll go through a repetitive cycle because of the pain was so intense and you just couldn't let go. You couldn't let go of the negative thinking. Uh, uh, subscribe, follow me. I'm going to be doing a, a message to everybody. I'm going to start doing spiritual messages, not Zodiac specific, but people specific. And the one that I'll start with is how to let go of negative thinking. So you have this ace of swords and that's what I mean. Your wish is coming true. What was it you wish for? What were you hoping for to grow your business, to expand, 
to find a new job and career in an industry with a signed contract that is valid? What were you wishing for? Now, those of you who are working on projects that don't necessarily have to do with a career path or financial gain, you have something amazing coming in, and I do see it has to do with water. I see lots and lots of water around the sign of Libra. This could be going out and starting a humanitarian project that has to do with water centering. I'm seeing universities, so this could be an on, on, uh, online university that you're doing, something to do with water, aqua, aquatic. Uh, and I'm hearing material possession. Uh, so it may have to do with the supplies that have to do with water, water technology. It's not just a body of water. And it isn't necessarily the ocean. This is like a lake that I see, and I see it with like a university around it. And at a certain angle, it looks like something that may be in the UK, where it's this big, huge building and a big lake in front of it. it it's actually very, very beautiful. Um, so let us know if you're working on something that has to do with water, university, aquatics in any way, especially when it comes to the gear, the materialistic side of what's going on. I don't mean financial, I mean that. You're going to do well. You're going to get this up and running. You're going to find somebody who is going to invest. Why? Because this is what you've been focused on. This is what you've been wanting at least for 12-24 months, one to two years for some of you. You've been involved in this project and some of you, it could be one to two months where it's a brand new thing. You just came into this idea, this concept, and now it's going to boof. You have this big opportunity coming in for sure. Now remember, you're going to be moving forward with grace, elegance, and style like only Libra can do. And you do this from a place of inner confidence. We're going to take a look at your family and friends and see what's going on there because I feel for some of you, this painful ending was attached to something to do with someone else outside of the work, outside of the project arena, that kind of sabotaged you, all right? Now let's take a look at um, whatever it is. And I do see it is two people. For some of you, it will be two people. This is a family organ. There you got the two of pentacles right there, okay? And you have the completion, a will of fortune, all right? You went through a cycle with somebody that they may have been trying to sabotage you in a number of different ways, maybe in romance, maybe in career, maybe just in life in general. This sabotaging energy puts you into a place of that back and forth energy like Libra can do. You are the scale of justice. You like things in balance. You don't like arguing. You don't like dis. uh disagreements you like to have things balanced and uplifted that's what keeps you confident it doesn't mean you don't necessarily participate some of you do and some of you don't but when you're dealing with the toggling uh, back and forth out of balance those scales go up and down it kind of makes Libra go a little cray cray okay <laughs> it makes you guys get a little a little off-centered okay sometimes a lot off-centered Whatever this family member did to you, was doing, they affected your finances, which is your career, which is that project area that I'm talking about. They affected your belief, inner belief of self. So it's like they, they shrunk your confidence down, devaluing you as a person, what you do for a living. There's something there. Let us know what that was. Now, being that Mercury is in retrograde, let me pull these last two cards. Being that Mercury is in retrograde, there is something coming in that is going to bring back the memory of this individual. You're being guided to take a step back and reconsider whether you want to be with this person or not. All right. This person is coming in. You have the three of wands and you have the prince of cups. This could be a Scorpio cancer or Pisces, but I'm not looking at the zodiac signs. It can also be an Aries. This is about an individual who threw you out of balance that's going to come in and say, hey, you want to start a project? You want to do this with me? Maybe try to pull you away from something that you loved, something that meant the world to you, but yet 
didn't want you to be attached to it because they want you to themselves. There's a sense of emotional manipulation. Look at the face of this guy, okay? I had to bring out my old deck for Libra, all right? I've been using a new deck, but today's reading, I was guided to bring out my old deck. This old deck has a little bit different uh, depictions on the cards, and that's what I'm seeing like this mastermind of deception behind this this individual who i feel has very feminine energy it doesn't mean that it's a female but it definitely has a, a feminine energy where they are seductive in the way that they communicate with you they produce something they introduce something in a way that is like come on Libra, come on come on come over here flirtatious almost but whoever this individual was, you may have had great plans or you're getting ready to, you're being guided to really take a step back and make sure that this cycle of what happened is over so that you don't go back into an old cycle. Are they on the same page as you are, Libra? Are you guys in the same direction or is there a conflict of interest? Are your morals, values, belief systems on the same page? Or is there a conflict of interest? And that's where your intuition is going to really guide you through this. And you are very intuitively attuned, usually, unless you're out of balance. Okay? So whatever's going on, you have something amazing coming in. You do not want to be uh, side, they're calling it side swept, side swept like a broom, um, or you don't want to be blindsided by this individual. Let me know if side swept made sense to you. You may be doing something that has those words. That could be the name of the street, the name of an organization, something to do with this person. Pay close attention to what your guides are saying. They're going to lead you to the right path for you. Now, I feel that you have already healed a lot of this. The mental restrictions are lifting, and I feel a, a little bit of heaviness in my chest, okay, in the heart chakra itself. However, going forward, that energy is like like powder, you know, little, little dust powders just, just dissipating as you go up with elegance and grace. So let's take a look at your romance, all right? I feel some of you, this may be your romantic partner that said, hey, get away from that and come and let's do this together. Let's start our own direction. Let's go into a new place of living. Whatever it was, I feel that there is deception attached to your partner. Now, this may have been somebody that you let go of quite some time ago, but remember Mercury's in retrograde. Now, it doesn't mean they're going to knock on your door, Libra, although they could. It definitely means that there is an opportunity coming around. And I myself, over the last week and a half, have been having memories of people I haven't thought about in years. It doesn't mean I want to go reach out to them. But it is an analyzation. Is there anything left there? Do you need to clear anything out? Is there any ill will? Is there uh, restriction still attached to this? Is there anger? Is there misplaced blame and anger? More importantly, is there any confusion, especially when it comes to your romantic partner? Take a step back and reflect on everything you've been through with this person. You may have been put on standstill. This is in reverse. And you may have been kind of hovering down and looking a little bit too long. And look what came out, the card of judgment. You and your partner are going to analyze your situation. You are in your mind. Some of you will do it face to face. But this is that time to, I'm hearing, reconcile the differences. It doesn't mean in person, Libra. It means in you, getting the closure. Closure, people often think somebody has to come in and say they're sorry. No, they don't because they can say they're sorry five times, 50 times. And until we say, okay, I accept your apology, that will never come to a conclusion. It will never be completed until we accept the apology. Whether they say the apology or not, the conclusion comes from you. Completing that cycle comes from us, not the other person. So if they pop up in your memory, take a quick look. Take a look. Take, use this hangman energy. Call in your spirits and your guides around you. You definitely have them there. And remember, synchronicities are going to be everywhere. 
So if you're seeing that name, boom, 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 take a look at that situation. Maybe you just need to cut the cord. Maybe you just need to finally release them back to the universe. If you need help with that, you can go on my website, check out my new blog that I posted for March and the guided uh, cord cutting ceremony. It's all there for you guys or book a session. But the point is, I feel that you're moving into this new fulfillment. It's like excitement. Some of you are going to meet a new person, but you have to rest and end that mental restriction, right? And that's what we were just talking about. That literally clarifies what we were talking about. But this new person coming in, for those of you who are looking for someone new, Oh my goodness, I see you smiling. I see you filled with like your heart just warms up. And this is going to be somebody you're going to want to walk forward for the next decade, if not longer, of your life. Definitely getting to know them better. I don't see you rushing into anything, but you are definitely starting a new chapter. You have the world card. Now, granted, some of you, this is could be somebody from a different country that you're going to meet and there is a lot of that going on and it's actually very beautiful where people are meeting others from other countries because through the confusion as we tear down everything going on around us we start stepping into unexplored avenues unexplored directions that bring us to a new explosive kind of powerful romantic situation what I mean is you're opening up your mind you're opening up your heart you're releasing the old stuff so it's allowing this new new life form to come inside of you where it's like yes I want love and Libra you love love so you have something very special getting ready to come in whether they are in a different country or local this is going to be a beautiful new beginning you're completing a cycle and everything is like here you go Libra what what do you want what do you want to do so that is very beautiful now the final message for you guys from my guides is saying again reiterating well they're saying honor yourself through the situations that you've been through Pay very close attention to how you're feeling inside so that you complete this fully. It has been way overdue for some of you to let go and you are not listening to your guides. You're not following your intuition. Even though you know you should, you're not necessarily doing it. Uh, there's all kinds of things when it comes to intuition. We will be placing synchronicities everywhere for, for Libra. These will be things that are beautiful to Libra, what you think is beautiful. And when you see that over and over again, it could be a color. And I am seeing the color of turquoise. It is blue. I know Libras, a lot of you love blue, but this is a turquoise blue, uh, a little bit like what is behind me on the background, uh, a little bit uh, deeper richer than that but it is definitely a turquoise blue and they're showing like a, a, a one here one here one here one here almost like a path follow the path of the turquoise stones of the turquoise colors now obviously that's not going to be in for every single libra but that color is going to be an important part if you feel drawn to getting a turquoise stone then make sure you get a turquoise stone you can put it into a setting like this wear it around you put it in your pocket just a little tiny stone that stone is going to hold a lot of energy to help you move in the direction that you want but with that you're being guided to really embrace your own unique style elegance and grace people look up to you as a leader you are a leader of many people and people love you they love Libras and there is no doubt about it even if you've been faulty in some way people seem to love you the bottom line is, is your guides are saying it's time to take a risk not an uncalculated risk being foolish means not researching it just jump up and do it and then find yourself going backwards 
that's not like you. Remember, you're a person of balance. So taking this action of the fool means doing all the research behind you and starting this brand new cycle, moving into a place of personal power and starting the life that you have been asking for, Libra, because you've got a brand new chapter coming in and it is going to be very powerful, filled with all the wishes that you've been asking for. So Libras, I hope you have an amazing April. Thank you for watching. Much love.